In Southern California, just outside Hollywood, there is a most unusual hotel. A hotel dedicated to the golden age of cinema and the departures of its most influential and notorious players. It is a destination that spotlights the manners in which these men and women of Hollywood perished. Welcome to the Swan Hotel. Some of Hollywood's giants walked on four legs instead of two. They barked and purred their way to stardom and left an undeniable and unparalleled footmark. Make that paw mark in the backlogs of Hollywood lore. And on this special evening of mirth and cheer, we find ourselves at the door of room 212, a festive chamber which offers just such a tale. Inside, we find a suite at Malibu's famed Bradford Hotel, decked out wall to wall in holiday merriment. Wreaths of holly and green magnolia, vibrant poinsettias, and a glowing fireplace with a marble hearth. A four post bed with goose down comforter and pillows with knitted snowflakes. In the corner by the window, a tree with white lights and red robins, bows of gold and silver, and dangling from the limbs like ornaments, a hoard of Chester Lee dog biscuits. Welcome to the Christmas retreat of Hollywood's four-legged sensation and the source of tonight's charming tidbit. Dim the lights and cozy up next to the fire. You've just settled into the Swan Hotel. Just a short drive down the hill from the Swan, you'll find a cheap salon on Hollywood Boulevard. And outside on the sidewalk, a lonely star with two paw prints and the engraved name, Maddie. A Scottish Terrier, Maddie wasn't the most celebrated or even the most recognized dog in Hollywood. In fact, most of the time, passers-by would simply pass right by, without even as much as a glance Maddie's way. But if they heard Maddie called by her stage name, why every head on the block would turn, and a surge of camera flashes, wrinkled faces, and cutesy bootsies would ensue. You see, Maddie was the little dog who played the popular fictional dog Daisy in the 1949 classic under the same name. A pillar in the family movie-going experience, Daisy was followed by five sequels. Daisy Rides Again, Daisy Returns Home, Daisy Does Hollywood, Daisy on Patrol, and Dear Daisy. There was even the highly popular radio serial, The Adventures of Daisy, which led to the even more acclaimed television series, The Tales of Daisy, which ran from 1956 to 1961. Brought to you by Peabody Pickles and the Alistair Soup Company, Daisy commandeered household televisions every Sunday night at 8 o'clock Eastern. Whether burrowing through the rubble of a collapsed mine to save a crew of trapped workers, or comforting the heartbroken Lily when the cute boy from school stood her up Friday night, Maddie, <coughs> that is, Daisy, riveted and warmed audiences from coast to coast. They took her in each week and treated her like family. Her last public appearance was in 1962 on the Cal Merritt Show at the age of 14. Direct from New York City, it's the Cal Merritt Show. And here's the man of the hour, Cal Merritt! Now, say, Donnie, that we have a special treat for all those boys and girls out there. How's that, Cal? Well, sitting backstage is one of the biggest pooches in television. Would you like to see who it is? Go ahead, boys, bring her out. In the end, hers was a peaceful death. 
No high-speeding cars or chocolate found in the trash. Maddie died in her sleep on Christmas Eve, curled up tightly in her favorite wool bed. She was buried on our owner's ranch outside Petaluma, California, under an old oak tree where two creeks merge into one. Room 212 contains all the luxuries and Christmas decor of the Bradford. The wreaths, the fireplace, the tree. And at the foot of the bed, sewed to the comforter, a small dog bed with green and red argyle print. It was here that Hollywood's canine smash laid to rest her earthly hoops and boarded a chariot bound for open fields and an endless supply of Chesterly Dog Biscuits. Fans around the world knew and loved her as Daisy, but if guests of this sleepy yet merry room look closely at the side of her bed, they'll surely find a simple embroidery that reads, Maddie. Happy holidays from all of us at the Swan Hotel.